Hi DIYers, this is Michael from Alarm Grid, and today I'm going to be talking about providing AC power to an alarm system. AC power represents the primary power source for an alarm system. Uh, it's basically the transformer that's plugged into uh, the wall outlet that goes to the panel. Uh, electrical, electrical current um, travels uh, from the transformer through a wire to the panel, and it gets to the panel, and that's how the panel uh, stays running. Uh, the reason it's called a transformer is because it transforms the high voltage current uh, from the outlet into low voltage power uh, to power the system. Uh, the low voltage power won't overpower the system, it won't fry it, so to speak, um, and it won't mess up your equipment, assuming you're using the proper transformer. Uh, you'll often receive, see these referred to as step-down transformers because, like I said, it's stepping down the high voltage down to low voltage power that won't overpower the system. Uh, so um, I, I have some uh, props today, uh, share and tell, uh, to share with you um, uh, to show you a little bit about what I'm talking about here uh, when I'm talking about a transformer and uh, wiring and everything. So um, there are different types of transformers, like I said. Um, you'll encounter AC transformers and DC transformers. Um, the type you use depends on the specifications of the security system you're using. Some systems will need AC power, and others will use DC power. Now, a big difference is that when you're using an AC transformer, polarity doesn't matter, uh, meaning you don't have to observe um, which wire goes to which terminal. That is, uh, for positive and negative power. Um, both of the terminals will be equivalent, and you can have either wire going to either power connection on the panel. Um, so I have one transformer here. Uh, this is an example of an AC transformer. And uh, you see it just says AC and AC. Um, so I could either have I could have either color wired going to either one and then having it go to either uh, connection at the, the panel. Um, you won't have to observe polarity. So that makes it a little bit easier, just something you don't have to worry about. But uh, conversely, uh, this transformer right here this is a DC transformer. So if you look closely, you'll see that it has a positive terminal and then a negative terminal. So the positive, uh, traditionally, that's where you connect the red wire. And the negative, uh, that's traditionally where you'll connect the, the black wire. Uh, negative, also sometimes referred to as the ground connection. Um, and you'll want to observe polarity at the panel as well when you go to connect the wires at the panel. You want to make sure that the positive, like I said, that's usually the red one, is going to something like 12 volt uh, DC, um, or it'll have a positive symbol, a plus sign. Um, and then the negative, uh, the black wire, it's going to ground GND, or maybe a negative uh, symbol, a minus sign. So uh, you'll have to observe polarity on uh, the DC transformer. Now, uh, as, as you can see on both of these transformers, uh, there is no wire currently connected. Uh, the wire is detachable, and you actually have to supply your own wiring in most cases. Usually with a system, uh, it will include a transformer. Uh, but it won't include wiring. Now, there are exceptions to this rule. Sometimes it will include a wire. Um, but traditionally, um, you, you do supply your own wiring. And this is because traditionally, alarm systems are, in the past, they've mostly been installed by professional installers. And you would expect a professional installer to have uh, wire cabling uh, readily available in their work vehicle. So they can go and cut whatever wire length they need for the job. Um, normally speaking, you, you want to have the wire um, to be uh, enough distance to reach the, the outlet and the panel, obviously, but you don't want it to be too much longer than that. You want it to be just long enough. Um, you, you, don't, you, you do want like a little bit of slack so that way you can, you can complete the connections comfortably, but uh, you, you don't want to have a wire that's super long. Um, and I'll, I'll explain more about that in a little bit, but and it's also just uh, for uh, preparation, just um, so that way you're not having wire going all over the place or anything. But um, a professional installer will be able to cut the wire uh, to the exact need that they need for the job at hand. So uh, that, that's a big reason why uh, the, the wires are detachable. Also, just in case the wire becomes damaged or cut, then you don't need to replace the entire transformer. And just as an example here, I do have a transformer um, th that is a fixed, uh, has a fixed wire, a permanently connected wire that can't be detached. So uh, you see, if, if this uh, transformer, if, if the wire on it um, were to become damaged, then I would likely need to replace the entire transformer. Um, so that, that's pretty inconvenient. So you don't usually see those well, with alarm systems. You, know, you might occasionally, but um, that, that's not as common. Now I do want to talk a little bit about some of the wiring you might encounter uh, with an alarm system. Um, one thing I do want to um, mention is, um, uh, like I said, there, there's a maximum wire run distance that most panels will have in their specifications. Um, 
uh, as current travels down a line, um, it, it, uh, it lo there's a loss of current along the way. A, a small amount of current becomes lost along the way, and it, it becomes more prominent as the cable becomes longer. So if the cable's too long, too much current will be lost along the way, and not enough current will reach the panel. You'll get an AC loss condition, or the panel might not power on. So uh, you'll want to observe the maximum wire run distance um, based on the panel you're using. And that also applies based on the thickness of the wire that you're using, or the gauge, the AWG. Um, the most common gauges for uh, alarm system wiring, uh, it's usually a 18 gauge or 22 gauge wire. Um, lower gauges uh, are thicker than higher gauges. So 18 gauge wire is thicker than 22 gauge wire. Um, when you have thicker wiring, um, it holds current a little bit better. So you'll be able to do a longer wire run. So if you're worried about um, a, a, me, having to do a long wire run, uh, if you, you really have to uh, stretch the distance from the panel to uh, the transformer, uh, to where the, uh, it's being plugged in, the outlet, then you, you probably want to go with a thicker gauge wire. Um, I'll just to show you some examples here. Uh, I do have some, um, I believe this is 18 gauge wire right here. Um, and you'll see that this is solid core wiring. Now, we normally don't recommend solid core wiring. You can use it. It works just fine. Um, it's going to accomplish the same goal as any um, alarm wiring. Uh, the, uh, the other type that I'm going to show you today being stranded alarm wire, which is what we recommend. But uh, you'll see that this is a little bit less flexible. It's, it's, I mean, it is flexible. I am moving it around, as you can see. But um, it's, not, it's not as forgiving. Um, it can become cut pretty easily. It's just a solid core. It's just one solid inner wire. Um, some installers might prefer working with this. Um, I, I personally don't. Uh, what I prefer here um, is the, uh, the stranded wire, which I have just a small piece cut here just to show you for example. Um, you see that this, uh, the wire is split into different strands. I can, I can split it up. So even if one strand were to become broken, um, then it would still work fine. Um, it would still be able to trans transmit the current uh, down the line. So it's a little bit more forgiving. It's, it's more flexible. It's a little bit easier to work with. And you see that this is a uh, four conductor wire here. So if I only needed to use two of the wires, say I just needed the red and black for power, I could just tie the, the green and the white wires back, or I could cut them, and I, I would still be able to use this fine. So that, that's an advantage to uh, four conductor wiring there. Uh, this, this back here was a, a two conductor wiring. It just has the two inner wires, um, which is fine for providing power, but there might be some applications where you do need the four inner wires, uh, such as um, a motion detection sensor, a hardwired motion detection sensor where uh, data and power are being transmitted, um, data being zone status um, information uh, between the panel and the sensor. So um, whether you use four conductor or two conductor wire, it's up to you. Just um, You can double up uh, two conductor wire, by the way, if you need a four wire connection. So that's also something to keep in mind. Um, but uh, this is a 22 gauge wire, so it won't uh, be able to do as long of a, a wire run as this uh, 18 gauge wire. Um, this is a little bit thicker, um, so it can, it can hold current a little bit better as it travels down the line. So make sure to look at the specifications for your panel to see the maximum wire distance. And it usually differs based on the gauge you're using. Um, when you are preparing wire, you will need to uh, have a wire stripper. Uh, we have one here. Um, I'm not going to be demonstrating it on camera, but I do want to just show you it off. Uh, uh, show it off. Um, we, we have uh, markings on the wire stripper uh, based on the gauge um, that you can use uh, to insert the inner wires. You, you see there's like an outer shield for the wires, and there's inner wires in there. And then you strip the, the covering off the inner wires to reveal the copper. Um, so you would do this based on the gauge. If I were doing a 22 gauge wire, I, I would stick it into this hole and this be able to pry it right off and reveal the copper. Uh, you see that I already um, did this in the wire that we have here today. Um, I already prepared it. Um, but you see on this end, it's uh, not prepared yet. I would have to uh, remove the outer wider area to reveal the four inner wires and then strip them one by one. Um, so that's uh, something I would do when preparing wire. But there is an alternative to having to prepare wire. Um, we have what's called a Honeywell LT cable. And this is an already prepared wire. I didn't do anything to this. Um, it comes in two parts. There is a small part right here. And then there's a larger part, which we have uh, tied up uh, to make it easier for me to hold. Um, but you see the larger end ends in uh, spade connectors that can easily connect at the transformer. So you would uh, make these connections using a screwdriver. And then it goes down to uh, the male barrel connector um, on the other end and plugs into the female barrel connector uh, like that. 
And um, then at the other end, you have uh, some ports that you can easily plug into the panel that uh, will easily go in. Um, you will see some panels that um, have um, a barrel connector that uh, you can use to just, uh, you won't have to use the small portion of the wire. You can just use the large portion of the wire. Um, and that um, entails you know, connecting at the transformer. And then this part goes into the barrel connector at the panel, the female barrel connector. And I believe that um, this is a positive ending connection. So um, you have to make sure your panel supports it um, if, if it does have that barrel connector. Um, so uh, check those specifications to make sure that's the case. Um, it's, it's a positive centric connection, something like that. Um, so just make sure you look into that. Um, in, in most cases, any panel that's going to support a barrel connector, um, not all panels will have that. Um, an example of a panel that does, uh, the 2 gig GC3E actually does. Um, and and it, it will be fine, but um, you do want to check the specifications to make sure you don't uh, reverse polarity. So uh, make sure to look into that. Um, so uh, that's, that's pretty much providing AC power to a panel. Um, most panels will come with a transformer, but uh, you will need to supply your own wire in most cases. There are exceptions. Uh, the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus uh, comes with a prepared wire for you to use, and all you need to use to set it up is a screwdriver. So it, it really varies depending on, on the wire. Um, I mean, on, depending on the panel, that is. Um, just make sure that um, you observe the maximum wire distance. Remember that uh, thicker wire, um, a lower gauge, will uh, be able to allow for a longer wire run. So that's something to keep in mind if that's an issue for you. Uh, the Honeywell LT cable, I didn't mention this, it's, it's only um, eight feet long. So um, if you need something longer, then you might consider um, preparing your own wire. Um, while this is convenient, it's not necessarily the longest wire out there. So you need to keep that in mind. And remember, we do recommend uh, stranded wire over solid core wire. Um, both will work fine. If you happen to have solid core wire on hand, uh, you don't necessarily feel like you need to go out and get new stranded wire. Um, but if you are wiring often, then that might be a, a, wor a worthwhile investment um, just because it's easier to work with and it's a little bit more forgiving. Uh, like I said, even if, if just one of these, uh, like if one strand just becomes off, like if I, if, uh, like if I were to just take that, that guy right there on this white wire and it weren't, wasn't you know, properly connected, then uh, the, the other wires would still be there to pick up the slack and do the job. So uh, that's uh, what you need to know about providing AC power um, to a panel. It's a transformer. Uh, it's a step-down transformer that turns uh, high voltage power into low voltage power that is suitable for an alarm system. So if you have any questions about providing power to an alarm system, or you want to learn more about alarm monitoring service, or uh, uh, you have questions about a specific alarm system, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.